I was diagnosed with this rare disease, idiopathic multicentric Castleman disease, a disease where the immune system becomes hyperactivated and then attacks and shuts down the body's vital organs for an unknown cause. Given the recent events with COVID-19, I've felt incredibly compelled to try to pay it forward. I was experiencing multiple organ system failure. My liver, my kidneys, my bone marrow, my heart and my lungs were shutting down for an unknown cause. And try to share what has saved my life, and that's a repurposed drug, and, and learn about the drugs that are being tried in COVID-19. My doctors encouraged my family to say their final goodbyes, and my family brought in a priest to administer my last rites to me. I learned so much about life and about living from nearly dying five times. We have to question the status quo. If we'd continue to follow along of treating me with chemotherapy after chemotherapy, I would have continued to have relapse after relapse, and I would most certainly not be alive today. Fortunately, there's a drug called serolimus that was developed 25 years ago that we decided to try on me as the first patient ever with castle a disease to be given serolimus. And I'm alive here today because of this drug, serolimus. The traditional process for communicating and sharing medical research is incredibly inefficient. Scientists like me, we conduct research for years. We finally get our result that we're ready for, to share with the community. We publish it in a peer-reviewed journal, and we just hope that someone else somewhere will read the paper and implement what we've learned into their own framework for treating a disease or maybe for researching a disease. So physicians need to go through the entire literature if they want to get an idea for how they might treat a particular disease. We, through our approach in fighting Castleman disease, have decided to take a different approach. One of the first steps we took was to reach out to all the physicians and scientists worldwide treating Castleman disease and to begin to collect data on all of the patients that they've treated, all of the papers that were out there. And we wanted to come up with a menu of what are all the options that a patient has or a physician has to treat that patient when they become ill. And we didn't want every single physician every time to have to reinvent the wheel to go through all of these hundreds and even thousands of published papers. I've assembled a team of volunteers and scientists from my lab who are currently going through the approximately 1,000 published papers for COVID-19. David, I wanted to show you what I'm wearing today. I love it, representing the CDCN shirt. We have the goal of going through all 1,000 papers in 10 days to extract out all the data currently available on every drug that's ever been tried in humans against COVID-19. I just want to start out by thanking you guys all for stepping up and saying that you want to take on this project. I found myself about a week ago hoping and praying that someone somewhere would go through all of the drugs that have ever been used to treat these first three months of COVID-19 patients. So what we'd be kind of looking for our team and each of us to do is to do, you know, somewhere between an hour, an hour and a half every day for the next five days and really, you know, not through this list. David, can I just ask about the role of if you across any article so that you think is really research heavy? Sometimes solutions can be hiding in plain sight. The drug I'm on, Serolimus, had been in my neighborhood pharmacy, CVS, but no one had thought to try Serolimus for me. How many other drugs and solutions are hiding right in front of us in plain sight? We need to reflect on what we hope for and what we pray for, and then turn those hopes and prayers into action. So let's get a flex. Aaron, can you show us the face real quick? Hey, yeah, ready? Oh. Yeah. Three, two, one. Oh. And I got a screenshot. All right, you guys are awesome. What can we do to get us closer to that which we're praying for?